Hello, I'm Lester Diaz, principal at Frederick Douglass High School. The annual Senior Academy Awards at Frederick Douglass High School is our yearly recognition of our fabulous senior students. We welcome you to the third annual Senior Academy Awards. Each year we look forward to celebrating Broncos for their academic dedication, community involvement, and outstanding leadership in the classroom, on the fields, and in the community. The Faculty Cup Award is an award given to two of the top seniors. Teachers vote in a school-wide vote for these students. Many students are nominated, but only two are the winners of this award. By winning this award, they will be the Master of Ceremony for the entire program. This is a prestigious award highlighting outstanding leadership in our senior student body. The Senior Cup winners are Andrew Rodriguez and Najma Amarkeo. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Diaz. Uh, it's pretty awesome to receive this award, uh, even more special in a year like this year. The class of 2020, it's unique for sure. Um, we didn't have 2020 vision to see what was going to happen this year, but we are a class that can't see into the future. And it's cool that our faculty recognize Najma and I to have the character and um, the spirit to receive this award. So we're very thankful for that. Um, Najma, do you have a few words? Yeah, so I think you pretty much summed it up there. Um, I just want to say hi, everyone. Welcome to the 2020 Senior Awards. And it's a little bit different this year, but I think we'll make do with what we can. And if, with that being said, I think we can go ahead and get started. All right, go ahead, Najma. The Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Scholarship is awarded to a young lady who demonstrates excellence in academics, exemplary moral standards, and is actively engaged in their local community. This year's recipient is Mare Mwamini. Congratulations to her. Next up, we have the Emma E. Buckley Scholarship. This scholarship is offered by Bluegrass Community Foundation. It provides an award of $2,500 that is renewable for up to four years of undergraduate study. This year's recipient is Mare Mwamini. Congratulations to you yet again. Next, we have the Historic Douglas High School Alumni Association. This year's Historic Douglas High School Alumni Association textbook scholarship is presented to a student with undeniable leadership, charisma, and FDHS pride. This year's recipient is, are you surprised, Andrew Rodriguez. Congratulations. Oh, well, thank you, Najma. Much appreciated. Um, the next award is the Junior League of Lexington Community Impact Award. Uh, this award recognizes a young woman that is passionate, dependable, and committed to community and volunteerism with a Community Impact Award. This year's award recipient is Caitlin Perkins, AKA KP. Congratulations, KP. The next one is the Lexington Philharmonic Guild Awards. This award recognizes outstanding students in both band and orchestra with awards. This year's award recipients are Abigail Gracie Phelps for Outstanding Orchestra and Joshua Grant Hayes for Outstanding Band. Congratulations, you two. Our next award is the National Orchestra Award. The National Orchestra Awards is the highest honor you can bestow upon a member of the high school orchestra to recognize excellence in playing and contributions to the ensemble. This year's award goes to Po Chang Lee. Congrats, Po Chang. The next award is the Lexington Lions Club Scholarship. The Lexington Lions Club Scholarship is awarded to an individual who demonstrates a commitment to community service and academic excellence. Winners are selected based on an application process. A winner is chosen from each high school and an overall recipient. And this year, Douglas has two award winners, and they are Bilal Chad and Ryan Ligub. Congratulations, gentlemen. You brought home the FDHS win, and Bilal Chad was selected as the overall winning recipient. Next up, we have the Bluegrass Kiwanis Key Club Scholarship. Awarded to a member of the Kiwanis Key Club, this scholarship honors a student who demonstrates impeccable leadership by service. This year's recipient is Jeffrey or JJ Byers. Congratulations. Next up, we have the Lexington Singers Excellence in Music. 
Chosen by the choral directors across the district, the Lexington Singers Excellence in Music Award recognizes a student who shows overall excellence in musical ability. This year, the award goes to Deja Matoyer. Congratulations. EKU offers a variety of scholarships, the criteria and value of which are as broad as a student body. Congratulations to the following students that have been selected to receive various academic merit and competitive scholarships based on admission, criteria, uh, merit, and or essays. This year's recipients are Carmen Conway with the Diversity Scholarship, Murray Muamini with the $8,000 Scholarship, and Caitlin Perkins or KP with the GSP Premier Award and Chairman. Then we have Samuel Rodriguez with the Dean Scholarship, Janet Velasquez with the Dean and Trailblazer, and Alexandra Zacola with the Chairman Scholarship. Congratulations to you all. One Bronco was selected to receive the Heritage and Teacher Alumni Scholarship at Georgetown College. Congratulations to Shekinah Harvey. Lindsey Wilson College welcomes our Broncos with both an academic and athletic scholarship. Congratulations to Jalen Bybee. Home to beautiful hiking at Pinnacles of Berea and 45 minutes outside of Lexington is Berea College. They honor two with the Tuition Promise Scholarship, guaranteeing tuition costs for four years currently valued at over $174,000. Congratulations to Mary Grace, M.G. Cook, and Rachel Dodd. Next, we have Kentucky State University. This school offers half to full tuition scholarships to our Broncos joining them in the fall. Congratulations to the following recipients. Magali Cruz with the Rising Scholar, Noah Gray with Rufus Ballard Atwood Prestigious Scholarship. Once again, congratulations. Now we have Moorhead State University. The Dean Scholar Award offers $2,500 per year to new incoming freshman applicants. The total value is $10,000 over four years. The Kentucky Scholars Award offers $5,000 per year to new incoming freshmen. So the total value for this one is $20,000 over four years. And this year's recipients are Hannah McLaughlin and Jeffrey or JJ Byers. Hannah received the Dean Scholar Award and JJ receives the Kentucky Scholars Award. Congratulations to you two. Next up, we have University of the Cumberlands. The University of the Cumberlands Presidential Scholarship Awards range in amounts and are renewable each year as long as academic criteria are met. Congratulations to the following recipients, Cameron Eggleston and Emily Rivera. Both received the presidential scholarships. UK offers a variety of scholarships. Congratulations to the following students that have been selected to receive various academic, merit, and competitive scholarships based on admission criteria, merit, or essays. We have Bilal Chad, Grace Collins, Lindsay Hager. Bilal received the William C. Parker Scholarship, and Grace and Lindsay received the Provost Scholarship. Next up, we have the Merit Scholarships. We have Catherine Jilka with the UK Award, Elizabeth Kuyper with the Provost Scholarship, and Drew Rodriguez for the William C. Parker and Presidential Award. And lastly, we have Caroline Taylor with the UK Award. Next up, Drew will present the awards for the University of Louisville. Awesome. Thank you, Najma. So, BBN's big rival, the University of Louisville, is welcoming four Broncos this fall with merit and competitive scholarships. Congratulations to Alyssa Gebhardt, who received the Gromayer Award, Paige Hensley, who receives the Henry R. Vogt Scholarship, Nino Owens, who receives the Martin Luther King Jr. Scholar, and Ryan, who received the Trustee Scholarship. Next up is Western Kentucky University. The WKU family is getting two Broncos in 2020 who are in scholarships. Congrats to these recipients. Abigail Phelps, Academic Merit, and Troy Posey, Cornelius A. Martin Scholarship. Congratulations, you all. Transit University secured three Broncos who were in various academic scholarships this year. One of three, Alexander Pollock, the Achievement and Pioneer Scholarship, Ashley Torres, the Merit Scholarship, and Deshaun Snowden, the Trailblazer and Pioneer Scholarship. All right, next up we have Sullivan University. Sullivan University is awarding a scholarship to one Bronco this fall. And this year's recipient is Veronica Haney. Congratulations. Now we have Bellarmine University. So this university is gaining one Frederick Douglass High School student who earned two merit scholarships. 
and she is Francine Capaya with the Monsignor Trees and Bellarmine Trustee Awards. Way to go, Francine! And now we have Utah Valley University. Utah Valley University is lucky to have one Bronco join their student body this year. This year's recipient is Rebecca Heilig. Congratulations, Rebecca, for earning a scholarship to UVU. All righty, now we've got the Louisville Beauty Academy. Maybe whoever's going here can take care of me. One lucky FDHS student will be attending Louisville Beauty Academy this fall after earning a scholarship. And that student is Skylar West. Oh, I know Skylar will take care of me. Congratulations, Skylar. Right on. Bluegrass Community and Technical College will welcome three Broncos who earn merit scholarships. BCCC is extending these to Ashley McIntosh, Alexander Seamans, and Jennifer Toscano. Congratulations, you all. And St. Louis University. Lucky for St. Louis University. They'll gain one Bronco in the fall who were in the Vice President Scholarship. Jillian Pravat. Congratulations, Jillian. Najma, let's talk about College of Charleston. All right. The College of Charleston awarded a merit scholarship to one of our FDHS students for fall 2020. And he is Colin Wolf. Congratulations, Colin. Next up, we have the Distinguished Athlete Award. The Distinguished Athlete Award honors one male and one female for outstanding sportsmanship. This year's recipients are Rachel Dodd and Jaden Henderson. Congratulations, you two. All right, the Semper Fidelis Bandsman Award. The Semper Fidelis Bandsman Award recognizes students whose leadership qualities have contributed to the success of the band program. And this year's recipients are Claudia Sienna Witt and Joshua Grant Hayes. Congratulations, you all. Next up, the Marine-sponsored Scholastic Excellence Award. This recognizes students with noteworthy academic achievements, as well as leadership excellence. This year's recipients are Jillian Pravat and Alexander Alex Pollock. Congratulations. All right. Academic achievement. These recognitions are chosen by teachers and awarded to students that have had standout performances in the classroom. Each teacher is able to recognize two of their top students taught during this academic calendar year. In English, we've got Leon Gatewood and Whitney Lopez Prada. Pre-law, Alexander Siemens and Ashley McIntosh. AP Statistics, Yash Patel. Dual credit, Armando Penalosa. Game Design and Development, Ashley Smith. Dual credit English, Murray Wamimi. And Alexander Pollock. AP Calculus, Aiden Harris. Megan Monjadas, Kevon Gar. AP English Literature, Maya Walker. Choir Theory, Deja Meteor. EMS Training, Angel Torres. Art, Janet Velasquez. Orchestra, Po Chang Lee and Jeffrey Viers. Pre Calculus, Armando Penalosa in Controlling Stress, Abigail Felf. Congratulations, rock stars. All right. New for this year are department awards. The criteria for department awards are determined by each department, including highest content average, most committed to the content, or the most passion. This year's department awards are Jenna Gorman in Spanish, Paige Hensley in Social Studies, Brandon Williams in social studies as well, Yolitsi Gorestiesta Favela in art, Catherine Frias in art, Dorian Steele in PE, and Abigail Phelps in performing arts. Congratulations, y'all. All right, Najwa, take over the core presentations. All right, so now we have the core presentations. The following groups of students participated in special programs while enrolled at Douglas. Please help us to congratulate them for completing their journeys. And Drew, I think you did a great job pronouncing those last names, and let me, let's see if, how well I can do with these. <clears throat> Lysha Bishop, Esmeralda Galejos Ortega, Jenna Gorman, Francine Capaya, Samuel Rodriguez, Angel Santillan, Angel Torres, Janet Velasquez. These students are awarded the Seal of Biliteracy. This is an award given by a school, district, or state in recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages by high school graduation. How'd I do, Drew? Najma, I think you did great. Perfect. 
So let's take a look at Beta Club. Beta Club promotes the ideals of academic achievement, character, service, and leadership among students. These seniors are receiving their Beta Club cord. First up is Najma Armakali. Come on, Drew. Okay. Uh, see, you did great with pronunciations, but hey, Najma Amarkale. Catherine Jilka, Elizabeth Kuyper, Murray Wamini, Jillian Pravat, Ian Sexton, and Caroline Taylor. I think I did pretty good with the rest of those names. I mean, you'd think you'd know my name by now, but you know, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, Najma. Let's look at National Honor Society. So I'm going to take the first half of the names and you'll take the second half because we've got so many and that's great. Because the National Honor Society elevates a school's commitment to the values of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. All right, let's get started. First up, Caleb Alleman, Najma Amarkale, Dylan Benton, Jonathan Blake, Gary Brown, Jarvis Bird, Madison Kaysen, Carson Castillo. Kimora Chestnut, Bled Chahad, Dane Shrisco, Grace Collins, Carmen Conway, Magali Cruz, Ethan Dieteric, Rachel Dode, Justin Duval, Cameron Eggleston, Yaron Elzi, Elizabeth Franklin, Alyssa Gebhardt, Dehuan George, Justin Gucci, Jalen Givens, Zachary Good, Jenna Gorman, Noah Gray, Daniel Hager, Lindsay Hager, Aiden Horace, Rebecca Heilig, Jadon Henderson, Paige Hensley, Benjamin Height, Caleb Hunley, Ryan Hant, Autumn Hawkson, Catherine Hilka, Ellie Kipper, Keegan Kirk, Rayan Lagub, Pocheng Lee, and Jackson Lyons. You got the rest, Najma? I gotcha. Nathan Mack, Tane Malaki, Hunter Martin, Aiden Maxey, Edward McClanahan, Ashley McIntosh, Hannah McLaughlin, Nathaniel Mead, Megan Meadows, Caleb Mensa, Maida Malumba, my girl, Marae Mwamini, Lynn, Drew, you wanna help me out? Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Lynn Nguyen. Close enough, I think. Yao Natodi, Nino Owens, Walker Parks, Ronit Patel, Yash Patel, Taylor Patterson, Armando Pen Penaloza, excuse me, Caitlin Perkins, Abigail Phelps, Alexander Pollock, Jillian Pravat, Carolyn Rainstrom, Emily Rivera. I don't think I've ever seen this name before. A Andrew Rodriguez? Hmm. Samuel Rodriguez, Ian Sexton, Ashley Smith, Deshaun Snowden, Caroline Taylor, Angel Torres, Hannah Ulrich, Janet Velasquez, Jeffrey Byers, Maya Walker, Olivia Walls Pussell, Miles Warfield, Brandon Williams, Colin F Wolf, Angel Wood, Alexander Zakola, and Shen Yai Zhang. All right, so now we have um, a few more names for the Jobs for American Graduates, or JAG as we know it at Douglas. This is a state-based national nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting young people of great promise to find economic and academic success. Now bear with me here with these names. Jakara Fools, Noah Gray, Jacob Housley, Jaden Henderson, Alyssa Laprell, Whitney Lopez Prada, Justin Mallory, Murray Mwamini, Dion White, Tariq William Sanders, Yamaya Woods, Sammy Yunus, Jennifer Espinoza Torres, Joshua Cunningham, 
David Hawkins, Gustavo Rebollar Casares, Kaylin Wilhoit, Layla Alaidi, Grayson Frustachi, Jackson Pierce, Vincent Adams, Marquise Davis, Tatiana Jones, Innocent Lamona, or Shabazz, Nathaniel Nate Mead, Jesse Robinson Jr., Malik Saleh, Trenton Blanton, Brianna Denning, Alfredo Govia, DeAndre Hines II, Amari Robinson, and Macy Whitehouse. Congratulations, you all. And now Drew will continue with the next scholarship. Thanks, Najma. The Larry Caruso Foundation Scholarship recognizes extraordinary leadership, commitment, and dedication to jobs for America's graduates. This year's recipients are Murray, Mwamini, and Zachary Good. Right on, you guys. Congratulations. The National Kenneth Smith Scholar Award recognizes leadership and service within the JAG community. She's taken them all. Murray Mwamini, congratulations. All right, now we're going to highlight some of our teaching pathways. Here we've got the teaching and leading pathway. This pathway focuses on the general theory and practice of learning and teaching, the basic principles of educational psychology, the art of teaching, the planning and administration of educational activities, school safety and health issues, and the social foundations of education. Within this pathway are Najma A. Markale, Lysha Bishop, Megan Meadows, Deshaun Snowden, Sabrin Wright, and Yamaya Woods. Students in this program participate in a highly competitive application process to be accepted. This program engages students in high-level critical inquiry through problem-based instruction and discovery learning. These students are, I think that's uh, Bilal Chaud, is that right? There you go, okay. Rachel Dodd, Alyssa Gebhard, Aiden Harris, Catherine Jilka, Whitney Lopez Prada, Ho Chang Lee, Hunter Martin, Nathaniel Mead, Oh, there's that name again. Andrew Rodriguez. Yeah. Hannah Ulrich. Okay, I got this. Colin Wolf. There we go. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. And let's take a look at these faces. Uh, first slide, and then uh, particularly the second slide, bottom, uh, second column. That is a pretty good looking guy. All right. Moving on to transition readiness. Graduates receive cords based upon criteria that must be met and reflect their readiness to transition to academia, industry, or both. Pretty awesome that we got a jam-packed list of names. So I'm going to take half of them and Najma's going to take the other half. Starting off, we've got Phoenix Babbitt, Bailey Bays, Amy Barrett, Carson Castillo, Bled Tchad, Grace Collins, Carmen Conway, Yaron Elzi, Davidson Engel, Elizabeth Franklin, Catherine Frias, Leon Gateway, Alyssa Gebhardt, Justin Gucci, Zachary Good, Jenna Gorman, Yolitsi Gorostieta Favela, Noah Gray, Jalen Green, Aiden Horace, Rebecca Heilig, Jaden Henderson, Paige Hensley, Ashton Higgins, Benjamin Height, Caden Hollifield, Caleb Hurley, Autumn Hoxson, Katharina Jilka, Chloe Lopez, Pocheng Lee, Camila Machuca Besantes, and Hunter Martin. All right, Najma, go ahead. All right, so then we have Aiden Maxey, Isaiah McInnich, Nathaniel Mead, Murray Mwamini, boy, we've seen that name so many times, Devin Neal, Caitlin Perkins, Abigail Phelps, Jillian Pravat, Kaylee Ratliff, Dalton Richardson, Emily Rivera, oh, there's that name again, Andrew Rodriguez, Samuel Rodriguez. Andrea Romers, Alexander Siemens, Ian Sexton, Ashley Smith, Trinity Sneed, 
Hannah Ulrich, Janet Velasquez, Jeffrey or JJ Byers, Maya Walker, Claudia Witt, Kaylin Wilhoit, Colin Wolf, Sabrin Wright, Braden Wiley, and Alexandra Zakola. Congratulations, you all. Now we'll move on to industry ready recipients. And this includes Lysha Bishop, Kamora Chestnut, Lonnie Collins, Jennifer Espinoza, Joshua Hayes, Ashani Hollingsworth, Jackson Tigers, I mean Lions, Carol Baskin, Yauna Todi, Parker Randall, Angel Santian, Mackenzie Simons, Deshaun Snowden, Angel Torres, and Casey Young. Congratulations, you all. All righty. I see now why you want me to take this one. So, Najma Amar Kale, Tyler Boggs, Gary Brown, he's starting a business, guys, Madison Kaysen, Dane Trisco, Magali Cruz, Ethan Dieteric, Michael Fraley, Lindsey Hager, Veronica Haney, Joshua Hayes, Ryan Hant, Tristan Isaacs, Elizabeth Kipper, Keegan Kirk, Ryan Lugub, Jackson Lyons, Megan Meadows, Lynn Nagoyan, Yaw Natati, Nino Owens, Ronit Patel, Taylor Patterson, Armando Penalosa, Alexander Pollock, Caroline Taylor, Olivia Walls Pussell, Brandon Williams, and Christopher Witte. Academic and industry ready. Congratulations, guys. Now for our medallion presentation. Graduates receive medallions and ribbons for academic excellence. Cum laude. Students receiving the honor of cum laude had a GPA of 3.5 to 3.79. <clears throat> Najma Amarkale, Dane Trisco, Grace Collins, Carmen Conway, Ethan Dieteric, Justin Duval, Yaron Elzey, Elizabeth Franklin, Alyssa Gebhardt, Dejuan George, Zachary Good, Justin Gucci, Lindsay Hager, Aiden Horace, Benjamin Height, Ryan Ligub, Jackson Lyons, Aiden Maxey, Hannah McLaughlin, Lynn Nagoyan, Walker Parks, Ronit Patel, Taylor Patterson, Katia Portia Miranda. You want to say that one, Ashra? Uh, man, I always have trouble with it, but let me try. Andrew Rodriguez. That's right, right? All right, Janet, yeah, yeah, Janet Velasquez, Jeffrey Byers, and Olivia Walls Pussell. Look at these cum laude recipients. Nice, nice. All right, now we got magna cum laude. Students receiving the honor of magna cum laude had a GPA of 3.8 to 3.99. Carson Castillo, Bled Chahad. Jenna Gorman, Rebecca Heilig, Catherine Hilka, Murray Mwamini, Yash Patel, Caitlin K.P. Perkins, Armando Penalosa, Abigail Phelps, Alexander Pollock, Jillian Provot, Dalton Richardson, Ian Sexton, Caroline Taylor. Once again, right on, guys. And finally, for summa cum laude, three recipients, Paige Hensley, Elizabeth Kuyper, and Maya Walker. Congratulations, guys. Congrats. The best of the best right here. Najma, if you want to take on the Impact Awards. Each year, the senior class is given the opportunity to recognize the adults in the building that have had lasting impacts during the past three years. These interactions are not limited to the classrooms, but include connections made in the hallway, cafeteria line, office, or the field. Thank you for your impact, no matter how small it matters. I'm gonna take this first one because this guy's pretty special to me. Uh, coach Omar Shalash, my soccer coach, um, and I know he means a lot to a lot of people in this building, so he's our first recipient. Uh, Miss Banks, the Young Dems leader, and uh, a fantastic artist at that. Najma? 
And we have Mr. Harrison, and you all, he's had a very big change in his life. He just welcomed a new baby girl. Shout out to Amiri. Yep, yep, Mr. Harrison. I, I know Mr. Harrison always supports me in my business ideas, so you guys should ask him about, about which ones I've had. Next, we have Ms. Jaworski. Shout out to Psychology Club. Then we have Mr. Meenik, who puts on the most fabulous plays, so shout out to him. Ms. Snow, who helps us keep our one, two, three straight. And Mr. Stett, who helps us keep our head on straight. You guys are fantastic, and you really mean a lot to us and to our school. This concludes our 2019 to 2020 third annual Academy Awards. I think those names made me a little bit more nervous with the pronunciation than it should have. I think, Drew, you could probably agree, but we made it to the end, so. Well, I mean, I, I, I think I'm not going to say I did better. We'll let whoever's watching this decide. Well, okay. Um, but, you know, guys, thank you so much for watching this, um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Wow. What an amazing program. So, so proud of my seniors and very, very lucky that you parents have trusted us to educate your children for the last three years. I would like to note that this is the last group of students that got the opportunity to stay at their original school or to come to Frederick Douglass High School, their home school. I do believe they made the right choice. And judging by this award ceremony, you probably agree with me as well. Thank you for joining in such a joyous evening and such a joyous time of uh, recognizing our students, our faculty, and our families. I'm Lester Diaz, and it truly is an honor to serve you as your principal.